is what it is. I feel like this is like super bright on me. It makes me look like I'm fucking white. Like I'm some kind of white girl. There we go. That's me. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tasia Wagner. I know I've been like MIA for a long time, but I've just been busy with life, school, work, um, planning my 30th birthday. I just turned 30 on July the 7th. Shout out to my cancers out there. Hey, all to my emotional sensitive girls out there that are cancers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, today we're gonna talk about squats, squats 101. So I decided to do these videos because I people watch so while I'm, while I'm in between sets, I will just randomly just look around, you know, and I notice like mostly girls and some guys, I see them struggling with doing the proper squat. And a lot of times what I see them doing is they're arching their back while they're like squatting down. So they're kind of like this and they like bring it up like that, which is like all wrong. You can definitely hurt your back doing that. So, so I decided to do this video is just to help out if you ever like if you want to go in the gym and like really work out your squats and your help out with getting your quads bigger and your hamstrings and your butt bigger squats is like mainly the the main thing you can do to help to get that bigger um you can start off just doing body weight squats and then you can start uh putting dumbbells and then start graduating to the barbell and stuff like that if you want to but a lot of girls they're on Instagram and they see these Kim Kardashians and Black Chinas and they're just like, how are their, like how do they, like these girls got these big ass and big hips and whatever and they have this small waist and they have like that Coke bottle, I want that, I want that, blah blah blah, I want it, I want it, I want it, but instead during lunch you're going to Popeyes to get some fried chicken or you're going to Taco Bell getting that quesadilla. <laughs> and dipping it in some cheese sauce and stuff like that. So that's definitely not how you're gonna get that. So in this video, I go over uh, the muscle group, of course, you gotta start with anatomy always. The muscle group, and then I go into just doing body weight squats, getting your form correct. And then I go over it with dumbbells, and then I go over it with on the Smith machine. And then I finally go to the barbell, where that's when you wanna graduate and you feel more comfortable. You know, you want to add more heavier weights and stuff like that. So, if you want to see what I'm talking about in the squats one on one, continue to keep watching. So, the first thing first is posture. So, you need to make sure that you have the correct posture throughout the whole entire squat that you do, okay? The second thing is important is breathing. A lot of times, the people just decide they're like, oh my god, okay, here I go, here I go. Let me go ahead and take a deep breath. And they're holding their breath. And they go down. And they come back up and they're still holding their breath. And they're still holding their breath. And it's just like, ah, uh, brace, sister. So breathing is the second thing that's most important. And then third is form, obviously. So we're gonna go over that. I'm gonna get you guys right for them squats and you're not gonna be disappointed with this video. First things first is posture. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your feet are slightly over shoulder width apart. I go slightly over shoulder width apart and I advise like all my beginners to do so because you don't wanna hurt your knees. So. I tend to go slightly over shoulder width apart. Not like I'm doing the splits, but just slightly over shoulder width apart just to just to you get more comfortable with your squat posture and stuff like that. So once you do that, you want to make sure that you're nice and you're standing nice and tall. That's a major thing is you want to make sure that you're nice and tall. You're not hunched over when you're getting ready to do it, go into your squat. You want to make sure that you're nice and tall. Your back is nice and tall and straight up and that you should be able to breathe easily and like it comes natural. Like when you're hunched down, you're kind of, it's kind of hard for you to get that breath. So if you like stand nice and tall, you should be able to have that nice full and air breath. So that's how you know when you're standing nice and tall. So just make sure that you're standing nice and tall and straight. Then what you want to do, you want to get your hands ready. So hand placement is a big thing. What I do is I usually just put my hands in front of me like I'm praying or whatever. But um, some people go above their head. Some people are like this. Some people are like this. Whatever, whatever, whatever makes you comfortable. Some people go like this. But what I do is I just go in front of me. So once you do that, you're going to go like this. And you're going to stand nice and tall. And then that's when you're going to go ahead and take that deep breath in when you're ready to go down. So you're standing nice and tall. And you're going to a quick deep breath in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and lean back, kind of like you're sitting on a chair. So you just want to, it's kind of like you're sticking your booty out, poking your booty out. But you're going to sit down like you're sitting on a chair. And you're going to make sure when you're doing it that you're keeping your back straight the entire time. I cannot stress that enough. 
I don't know how many times I've seen people with their back arched when they're going down for squat. You have to make sure that your your body, your back is nice and straight. You do not want to arch your back. That is totally wrong. You're going to end up with a slip disc and then you're just going to be doing more harm to yourself. So make sure that you are keeping your back straight when you're getting ready to sit down. So you want to pretend like you're sitting down on a chair, basically what you're doing. So you just want to go down and act like you're sitting down on a chair and you're going to go at a 90 degree angle. Some people say squats, ass to grass, whatever. Um, if you know what ass to grass, I'll go into detail with you if you don't know what it is. So ass to grass is basically just that you're bringing your butt all the way down to the ground and then you're bringing your butt back up. That's what ass to grass means. People say in order for you to get a bigger butt is you need to do ass to grass. I disagree because you're working out your glutes either way. Um, I've never been an ass to grass. I feel like I'm going to hurt my knees doing that. A lot of So a lot of times the CrossFit people, CrossFitters, whatever you want to call them, they're the ones that do ass to grass. So, and that's what they say, oh, that's not a way you get a big butt, but that's not true. So, I'm not a CrossFitter. I mean, if you do CrossFit, good for you. Whoop, 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 circle, clap, whatever, whatever you want. Yeah, good for you. But I don't do CrossFit, and that's just me. I don't, I think CrossFit. Anyways, I'm not even going to get into that. Shut up, Tasha, you're talking too much. So, uh, what you want to just make sure you do is that you at least go a 90 degree angle, not a 45. You're not you're not doing anything there. You're just over here playing with the fucking squat machine and I can be over there doing my ribs like I want to. So not 45, a 90 degree angle. So your your legs, your hamstrings should be parallel to the ground. If they're not parallel to the ground, you are not doing the correct squat. So make sure that your hamstrings and your quads are parallel to the ground with your butt, okay? That's how you know you're at a 90 degree angle. Once you're there, then you're gonna go ahead and bring your butt back up nice and straight like you're standing nice straight and tall and once you're there you're gonna go ahead and breathe out first time you see me I'm just doing body squats just so you guys can get your form make sure that you're doing it right you want to make sure that you get it right first and then that's when you can start graduating to the other stuff and then next time you see me I have a barbell um, so if you don't feel comfortable with barbells you can get dumbbells as well but I feel like some I'm heavier in weight when I do squats so dumbbells kind of like they're so heavy on me, so um, I don't do dumbbells that often. So the what I do is I'll just get a barbell and just not put anything on there. So the next time you'll see me, I with the barbell and I'm sitting back on a bench. So you can do this just to see, just to make sure that your form is right and that you're getting at that 90 degree angle so you know exactly where you need to stop when you're not using a bench. So you can also try it with a bench. I recommend you trying it with a bench first when you use a barbell and then you can start graduating without using it. So the next time you see me is I'm with the barbell and then I have another time while I'm not with the barbell and then the next time you see me I'm using the Smith machine and the Smith machine is what it that's all it does it it helps you with your form and making sure that you know you're not going all the way down and then you don't know how to get back up because it's so heavy so you can use the Smith, mach Smith machine to start off before you actually start using the barbell with weights on it so that's what you'll see in this video so that's pretty much it. I am done rambling. I'm done talking. I got shit to do and I'm over here whatever but I wanted to get this video out because I recorded this back in Easter and then I just forgot to upload it and then when I realized I watched the clips like the videos I had I did not like how it was looking. So um, I'm very hard on myself. I mean nobody else is going to be hard on you so you might as well just be hard on yourself. So that's the type of person I am. I am very, very, very hard on myself. So if I don't see anything that I like, I'm crossing it out. Like I'm I'm not like a borderline perfectionist but I try to get to that because I'm hard on myself and that's just how I am. So yeah, I didn't re upload it because I just didn't like how it looked. So I wanted to do get some new like a new area to record, you know, new lighting, new production I guess you want to call it. And uh, and then that's when I wanted to record the squat video and then upload it to you. Um, so yeah, I'm done talking. Like I said, I was done talking before, but I wasn't. I'm done talking. The next video I'm gonna have up is my June favorites. I cannot wait to record that because I'm I'm just gonna let loose and be myself. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not myself now, but you'll just see the things that I like and what I love so much besides makeup and working out. You'll just see other stuff that I like to do. So, um, again, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. Thank you. If you have not liked and subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, 
You can also add me on Instagram. I'm at Tasia Wagner. I used to be Mrs. Wagner, but I changed it because I wanted to be a little bit more professional if I'm really going to take this seriously. So um, I changed it to Tasia Wagner. So you can find me there. I'll go ahead and put that down below right here. And I have a Snapchat. You can follow me on Snapchat. The name is Tasia77, I think. Um, and yeah. So thank you again. Thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you have any thing anything in particular video you want to watch i'll do it for you so just let me know just make sure you guys let me know at the bottom below and i love you guys so i'll see you next time She heard about me through a friend <laughs> Just hanging out guns They out riding around music playing So she asked her who that is <laughs> So she told her who that is <laughs> She asked her can I get a hold of this <laughs> She said she like the way he switches style Like the way the beats pound God damn me on the shit <laughs> I gotta get a load of this <laughs> She said one day I hope somebody introduce me <laughs> But she don't wanna feel like a groupie <laughs> Stayed up all night just to you she say something about the movement Before she go to sleep and wake up in the morn hey. She go to sleep and wake up to my song hey. The whole CD is playing on the phone hey. On repeat and playing all day long hey. She my number one fan My number one fan hey. She my number one fan Right there in the stands Waving the hand She say that she done been to all of my shows hey. Say she always stood in front row hey. Say she know the words of every song she got me playing on the phone She my number one fan My number one fan She my number one fan Right there in the stands Waving the hand She say that she done been to all of my shows Say she always stood in front row Say she know the words of every song Every day she got me playing on the phone She heard about me through a baby daddy And he would always play me when he come to pick the baby up And she would always say who that is so one day he finally say who that is And now she say she got some music to work out to And anticipating music coming out soon hey. Say she can't wait for that new album Say she even played me in the bathroom hey. Say she got every copy, every poster, every fly to hey. One day just to meet me she'll die too hey. Everything I'm dropping say she buying to hey. But hit me on the social, don't reply to her Hey, for she go So let's talk about the monkey that's in the room right now I have on a Nikki Black at her bra. I don't know if you guys can see. Yes, I have her sports bra. God, feel right. Black girl problems. Anyway, black people problems. So yeah, I got my uh, Nikki B shirt on. The sports bra I got for my birthday, and I fucking in love with it. Like, look at the detail in this guy. It's like, like, oh my god, Nikki did this. I love it. 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 And like it's like side you see sides you see sides and then like it goes up like the right amount I don't know it's just maybe I should like bring the camera down the whole time so you guys can see like this glorious Nikki B by Jim Sharp sports bra I got yes how should you fucking work that shit finally you got that shit under control oh, bitch. <laughs>